Welcome back to my 100 day drawing challenge 2020. Today's day number 43 and the prompt is vampire. So from today onwards we're doing Halloween prompts. I'm really excited. I love the prompts that are on the days leading up to Halloween. I really really enjoyed these prompts last year but I think I can really improve upon them because even though I enjoyed these prompts last year I feel like a lot of the illustrations that I did last year were not very good and I'm really excited to give them another shot. Starting with today's prompt which was vampire. I thought about this for a little while and I actually decided to use a character of mine that I've had for a long time but don't draw nearly often enough. I was a little bit conflicted about whether to draw original characters during the 100 day drawing challenge or whether to make them all new and unique or come up with a character specifically for that prompt and I could have quite easily drawn any vampire character. I have all these characters that I never draw often enough and I've wanted to kind of introduce you to so I thought why not incorporate them into the 100 day challenge a little bit. I did set myself that no fan art rule but I don't think using my own characters counts as fan art so. So her name is Vera, she's a vampire, very fitting for this prompt. <laughs> I just love her colour palette, so basically her colour palette is green and red, which are contrasting colours, which if you've seen any of these videos you'll know I love using contrasting colours so 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 much. So I love to use this really bright like blood red for her outfit and then she has this dark green hair and I just think it looks really pretty. The composition of this image is pretty simple, I just drew her sitting um, on one side of the page and she's holding this little glass. Is that wine? Is that blood? We may never know. I really, really enjoy drawing kind of fabric draping, so I like experimenting with giving these characters different outfits so that I can drape the fabric in different ways. So I had her sitting and then she has this long dress with a kind of slit up the side of it so that I could draw it kind of draping down, but her legs would still be exposed because if they were covered by the fabric I feel like you wouldn't get the full effect of the pose. And her hair is kind of swooshing behind her and <laughs> I just love drawing things like that. I feel like it makes the image look a bit more dynamic and so I used this really bright kind of blood red for her outfit and then shaded it with a much darker red which I feel like gives a nice contrast and then um, I had a really fun time shading her hair actually. I gave her quite a lot of colours for the hair which creates a really nice depth and contrast. So I started out with a really pale kind of grey toned green and then moved on to a kind of turquoise colour and then used a much darker green and then a petrol blue for the darkest shading colour and I feel like that range of colours works really nicely for the hair. I've actually never coloured this character traditionally, I've drawn her a few times but only ever digitally so um, I had to really look through my markers to try and pick out the correct colours for her. Especially for the hair, I feel like the dress is just kind of a primary red but the hair is kind of this specific greeny blue tone and I wanted to try and get it as close as possible to the digital drawings that I've done of her in the past. I feel like I got it pretty close. And her skin is like really really pale so I didn't even colour most of it, I just shaded it with a really really pale colour. So that's pretty much it for this drawing, I had a lot of fun drawing one of my characters, I'm really really excited to continue on with Halloween prompts up until Halloween. I'm also really excited to maybe incorporate some more of my characters into prompts in the future. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in or whether you think I should stick to creating a new character for each one of these prompts. I'm honestly pretty happy either way. <laughs> But I can think of some prompts that are coming up later in the challenge that I'd really really like to incorporate some of my characters into. But anyway, let me know what you think and that's it for today. That's all for today. If you're interested, there's a link to the full challenge playlist on screen and in the description. Subscribe if you'd like to keep up with me completing this challenge and I'll see you tomorrow for another prompt. Take care.